Dear friends, my name is Alexa and thank you for joining us here in this beautiful, not so sunny Kew Gardens today. It's good that we are here on this Easter day to greet God's holy season, seeking, sensing resurrection rays. They fill our bones, our hearts, our spirits, and spur us forward to newer days and ways. We in the Oblet community are so grateful to have you join us so that we can support one another by praying together. And we thank you for joining us online during this Easter time. As you celebrate the joy of Easter journey together, let us remember in a special way the need for peace in our world at this time. We also continue to hold in prayer those who are suffering from anxiety arising from the lifting of restrictions and for any other reason. Let's begin our time of prayer together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we greet the signs in nature around us, we give you praise, good and gracious God, for an even greater sign of new life, the resurrection of your Son. The sadness and despair of his death has given way to the bright promise of immortality. For the resurrection is our guarantee that light will overcome darkness and love will conquer death. May we be messengers of Easter joy and hope. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord forever. Amen. I would like to now share with you a reading from today's scriptures. John Chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. So I have a small patio garden and it amazes me. You see, I am not blessed with a green thumb or finger. And so I do seek help from my aunt who has a talent for that. She has a beautiful garden in Wales and it's amazing, especially during the summer. Jesus didn't say, I am the vine, but the true vine. And God the Father is the vine grower. Any avid gardener will know that sometimes parasitic vines may grow hidden. To the unskilled eye, this may go unnoticed and the tree is sucked all of its nutrients until it stops bearing any fruit. There's also loads of snails, pests and weeds. And if we're not careful and vigilant, the subtleties that does not favor the light of God can perish our ability to bear fruit. Therefore, pruning is a necessity. The dead wood must be cut away in due season and the good branches lovingly cut back to spur for fresh growth. The same is true even for exercise. No pain, no gain. For a muscle to grow, it must be taxed beyond its current capacity so that it can be rebuilt even stronger. The problem with pruning, of course, is that it hurts. It takes a lot of courage often to grow. Whether in our relationships, we end up finding moments in life that sometimes they impede our spiritual growth. Without it though, we miss out on God's highest and best for us. In John's Gospel today, Jesus instructs his disciples about the importance of following his example of love and service, about the gift they will receive when Jesus sends his whole, the Holy Spirit. He teaches the disciples his relationship with them will not end after his death because he remains with them always. This unity between Jesus and the disciples is a basis for their ability to continue to do the work that Jesus has begun. 
Our commitment to be Christ's disciples is sustained through God's Word. This commitment is strengthened through our life of prayer and nourished by the Eucharist. Through the Eucharist, Jesus dwells in us, remains with us, and transforms us so that we might bear fruit in His name. May we always cling close to our true vine. May our branches bear fruit and give glory to God's name and bring us joy and peace in living an abundant life in His name. And as we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sinned against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for joining us.